OK, good afternoon, you one. Today in history, what we're going to be thinking about is um, drawing conclusions, thinking about what might have been happening just from looking at a photograph. So what I've got today is a picture here of Neil just before he got into the space shuttle um, to go up to the moon back in 1969. And this photo is taken of his wife, Janet, and one of their little boys. Um, and this photo was taken just as Neil was waving goodbye to the whole of the, the world um, as he was about to launch himself into space to go into, um, into on his journey towards the moon. Um, I'd like you to pause this video now and have a little think. If you were that little boy, or you were his wife, how might you be feeling right now? That's right. Now, you guys actually aren't here. So I had a little think on my own and I thought, actually, you might be feeling quite worried because we don't know. They didn't know that this was going to be successful. They didn't know that Neil was going to be able to come back as a um, as a hero, somebody who's gone down in history as doing something amazing that nobody had ever, ever done before. Um, it's quite a dangerous job, isn't it, flying into space? Um, they weren't sure, so they're a little bit worried. This word is similar meaning to being worried. It means anxious. It means that horrible feeling inside your tummy when you think something might not um, go how you want it to go. Um, frightened. Look at that little boy. He thinks, oh my goodness me, that's my daddy going off into space. What happens if he doesn't come back? I'm feeling a little bit frightened or a little bit scared. <clears throat> oh, and if I move my picture here, <clears throat> Neil might at that point be thinking, um, oh, I am feeling a bit scared. I'm feeling a bit frightened. I'm leaving my wife and my two little boys here on Earth and I'm flying out into space and I really hope this is going to be a really, really successful trip, but it might not be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach inside of me and I'm going to find some courage. That might be the feeling that Neil had, wasn't it? Is some courage. Now, this photo has been taken the minute that they landed back on Earth. OK, now this was broadcast onto the people's televisions. Um, so this is Janet and the two boys there pointing at the television just as Neil Armstrong and Buzz and Mike Collins all landed back on Earth. And you can see from their facial expressions, if you go back to this one, look, you can see the concern, and you can see the worry, you can see the fear and the fright, the frightened looks on their faces, can't you? <gasps> oh my goodness me, what happens if something goes wrong? Whereas on this picture, you can see straight away from the photo, can't you, that actually they look much, much happier, don't they? So in this picture, what do we think these people might be feeling or what might Neil be feeling? Although Neil's not in that picture, what might he be feeling? The first feeling that I thought was relief. You might be feeling relieved. Oh my goodness me, phew, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness he has arrived back on earth safely. What a relief. You might be feeling overjoyed. That's another word for excited, isn't it? Full of joy, full of love full of, oh my goodness me, I'm so, so pleased that he's back, okay? And that might be exactly what Neil was feeling as he was in that space shuttle, um, landing back on Earth. Oh my goodness me, thank goodness that adventure is over. I can't wait to see my family again. Um, I think the feeling that would have very, very quickly come over um, his family and him would be that feeling of being proud, being proud of what he'd achieved. It was something major. Nobody had ever, ever done it before. And Neil was the first person to achieve it for the whole world. <clears throat> right, okay, what I'd like you to do today is I would like you to have a go at recording yourself. Okay, so maybe grown-ups might make a little film of you and I want you to pretend to be either Neil's wife or you might pretend to be Neil or one of Neil's children. I want you to talk about how you were feeling before Neil flew to the moon and then how you were feeling um, afterwards when he came back from the moon. Um, if you don't want to make a video, that's absolutely fine. Um, you can have a go using the photos from my PowerPoint um, to, to write some sentences about this, um, when he was just about to leave, what his family felt as he was taking off, and then what he and his family were feeling uh, when he landed. Um, I hope you have fun. I'm looking forward to seeing lots of exciting news reporters uh, reporting um, on how Neil was feeling at the time. Have fun and I'll see you tomorrow.